This is Steve Levy. He's part South Philly, part only, and all Philadelphia. Steve Levy has always been at home in front of a microphone. He started chasing his broadcasting dream at an early age. This Temple grad's first job was in Syracuse. With Jim Levy, Steve Levy. Yeah. <laughs> With Jim Levy. <laughs> From Syracuse, it was back to Philadelphia for a job in the sales department at WFIL Radio. That's where he became friends with a disc jockey by the name of Jim O'Brien. On the weekends, he did sports at KYW-TV with a rising star named Jessica Savage. The leisure suit was part of a trend, but his signature cowboy boots have turned into a way of life. Offered a job at WPBI-TV, Steve became the Walter Mitty of sports, trying out for the Eagles, boxing with Muhammad Ali, learning the ways of the 76ers from Billy Cunningham. In the early 80s, Steve took off his sports hat at WPBI and took a seat behind the anchor desk across the street at WCAU. The adrenaline flow of live television is unmatched by anything for me. It quickly became evident that while Steve was good at the read, he was great at the ad lib. And never were Steve's ad lib abilities more evident than when a bomb was dropped on a home on Osage Avenue. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have just joined us... The city's confrontation with MOVE erupted into a dangerous, explosive inferno that kept people glued to their TV for hours as we all watched an entire city block burn to the ground and 11 people die. Uh, there was a fun side of Steve. Don't act like me, the boo you sure. <laughs> Gary, I hope that... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of last summer's hottest properties is the story of a young guy. Get away from me! <laughs> we saw it week in and week out when he partnered with Sherry Bank on NBC 10's 10 Around Town. Tomorrow morning on News 10 today. Steve was an early bird. For years, he was the man we woke up to every morning for the news. When NBC10 started a morning variety show, Steve was there sharing recipes with some of the area's great chefs. Broadcasting has always been my other woman. After more than 30 years, Steve walked away from the microphone and into the arms of his wife, Pam. They split their time between their home in Colorado and one here in the Delaware Valley. You can take the guy out of Philadelphia, but you can't take Philadelphia out of the guy. To do it in your hometown and to be welcomed into people's homes is an honor. Steve Levy, for more than 30 years, a fixture in Philadelphia broadcasting, a part of Philadelphia broadcast history.